Hello YouTube and welcome fellow knife enthusiast. Today, today I thought we'd take a minute and uh, swap out some scales on a Demco AD 20.5. If you watch my channel, you know this was the first one I picked up. Absolutely love it. Just something about a sheep's foot blade I really like. Very utility. And then I picked up this Demco AD twenty point five, so I could buy some aftermarket goat scales to put on here. And I wanted to get the titanium scales. And if you watch my videos, you know, recently on a Love Them Knives knife sale, I was able to pick up this one with titanium scales. So today, because this one came with a extra set of a aluminum scales I thought we'd take the time to put these on here today and I think we're gonna put them on this one that I bought to put the titanium scales on so never took apart a Demco before and I'm pretty sure these come from original goat they're original goat scales. Uh, you do get a backspacer with this. Wow, that is super, super lightweight. And it's a Demco 8020.5 original goat. Really, really super lightweight. Holy cow, I can't believe how light these are. This one has the same badging in it. So, go ahead and take this one apart. I'm thinking it's... Feels bigger than T8. Huh. Wonder if that's a T9. T10. Holy crap. That's a T10. So that's the biggest pivot I have. And I have carried this one a lot, so I'm kind of curious to see uh, the condition of it. Then the rest of the hardware, looks like it's going to be a T6. Is that a T6? T8. Nope, it's a T6. So kind of strange. You go from a T10 to a T6. I think he would have made it at least a T8. So, I have never taken apart a Demco before. Do have Loctite on everything, but it's a blue Loctite, so it's coming apart quite easily.
All right. Now, because of the backspacer, we're not going to be able to do these one at a time, or are we? Because if we could, of course, I don't know how much pocket lint is in these. Did watch a couple other disassembly videos on this, so did not look too difficult. Feel like something's ready to shoot out. Maybe I won't have to take it all the way apart. Damn it. There we go. Oh, great. There it goes. It all falls apart now. But I'll be able get the backspacer out when we unscrew it from the other side. All right. Bearings still look clean. So I guess we'll have to take these out. That's out, that's out, and that's all fell out. Great. But that works out because now I can start putting it back together. Done. Got me this. Man, that looks like you got a heck of a mess here. So this has original goat scales. I will leave a con or a, I'll try to leave the link to their website down below. But if you just Google original goat scales so this appears like it uses the same as these inserts if I can get them out there we go Look like the original has an alignment pin, which these do not. Two alignment pins. Which the aluminum one does not. Guess we can go ahead and put these screws back in. Trying to do the clip first. Why is this so difficult? What am I doing wrong? I'm sorry if this is difficult to watch. I think once we get a couple in, start going better, hopefully. Let's 
So Hmm. Try and get these. Doesn't want to cooperate for some reason. Not figured that part out yet. All right. That was the bottom side. All right, so that, that roughly held in place. Oh, you know what? I think the liner went on first. Oh, it definitely did. All right, we'll try it again, guys. We'll do it quicker this time. That makes sense. All right. Now we should be able to get this on here. Barrel inserts. I notice inserts are D-shaped, but I don't notice a liner being D-shaped. I do not notice a liner being D-shaped. You'd think it would be. Why else would they waste some money? No, it's not D-shaped. And the liner is an original liner. We did not change that. All right. Now the backspacer should go right on. I'm probably going to use a little KPL on the bearing, but I can find where I set it down at. Usually sitting right here. All right, I found it. I'm just going to put a little bit on. Right where the bearing rides. 
All right, I had the open face side towards the knife blade. And we'll go ahead and put this back in the bag. Or pivot through, which is a D shaped pivot, and this is a D shaped cutout. Our bearing back on. And I guess we can put the knife on. Other bearing. What is this? A damn safety lid? Now, it was all clean. There was no pocket lint on the inside, so I did not wipe nothing down. Alright. Guess we gotta get the stop pin back in. And this goes back on. Something like that, I think. Hopefully I don't lose the spring. Maybe I should do that last. I'm missing something. All right, there's that one. All right. Now we're ready for the spring. There we go. And now the top piece. All right. Well, feels like it kind of went together. All right, now I had to close it to get that seat all the way. That feels really good. Get these screws back in it. It's nowhere near centered, but we do not have the pivot tight yet. Can we put oil on the other side? Yeah, I think we did. Just got the pivot left. And we're looking pretty centered. I have a couple of screws on the other side to tighten up.
All right. All tightened up. Centered up pretty well, not perfect. Moment of truth, so time to check out the action. And yes. Oh, yeah. Awesome, awesome action. Definitely. I feel that oil getting worked in. Definitely like the feel of this frag pattern. Feels really good in the hand. Absolutely amazing action. The titanium definitely feels better in the hand. I might add better action too with them skiff bearings. So let me know down in the comments what you think. I think it was a pretty good upgrade. I did like these silver or these gray ones, but these definitely feel better in the hand. Extremely light. I can't believe how light they were. They were... Probably weighed almost as much as these grivery ones. Got the back spacer. Nice and flush. Hmm. So I think these are like only 65 or 75 bucks on their website, which you can't beat for the milling. They have probably 10 different variations. This is a unsponsored video, but since I got the aluminum ones and the titanium ones, thought I could do a quick comparison. Titanium feels thicker in the hand. And they are. Titanium are quite a bit thicker. I do not know if these are the thick variation or not. But I almost feel like they are. If I took them apart. It might say on the inside. Well it's covered up with the liner right now. So even if it did you wouldn't be able to tell. Well, not a bad knife to take apart. Not nearly as bad as I thought it could be. As always, thanks for watching and stay sharp.